Just continue to pour in from viewers of the severe weather we saw today. Ryan Johnson sent us this image of a funnel cloud near Harvester Golf Course in Rhodes, Iowa. David Harmier sent us this picture of a funnel cloud just southeast of Collins. Speaking of which, we'll check in with meteorologist Jason Sudeiko now. And Jason, oh my goodness, what a busy afternoon. It was very busy. Yeah, I mean, we had uh, hail, we had uh, storms, and I mean, we just had a little bit of everything. If we can hop over to WeatherGraph 1, I've got some video pulled up right now of uh, another tornado uh, that we actually saw um, up near Rhodes. Um, so, yeah, if we can flip over to that, that would be good news. You can see across the state right now, though, on Super Doppler, right, um, south of Algona, we have got some storms that are continuing, and even, uh, there we go, um, you can see that dust just kind of spinning at the surface there. Had a condensation funnel, and then as it moved uh, eastward, there it is again. Uh, you can see kind of cool stuff. Well, that's a testament, though, to how quick hitting some of these tornadoes can be. You can get that funnel that reaches to the ground, and then as quick as it drops to the ground, it starts to lift, but still an ominous sight. Thank you, Craig, for staying safe out there near your roads. Um, but yeah, pretty crazy stuff. And downtown right now, a lot quieter of a look for us. Uh, we've actually been drying out for a little bit. And you look at the temperature, 64 degrees, that dew point way lower, 41 degrees. Some of us saw dew points in the 60s out there today. So super Doppler rate again, still picking up on some cloud cover and some isolated showers through central Iowa. Uh, the main threat at this point lies off to the east out near Waterloo. They've actually got a couple tornado worn storms up there and you can see the area highlighted in yellow. Again, that's the tornado watch area that's going to continue through 9 p.m. tonight and the area in tan. That is a wind advisory. We're going to be seeing wind gusts upwards of 40 to 45 miles an hour tonight and tomorrow as well. Uh, so our weather, it's an Iowa spring. It just never lets up, does it? Uh, yeah, up near Fort Dodge, still seeing a stronger storm up there. And you can see this whole system kind of pinwheeling its way through Iowa right now and even incorporating in a little bit of snow up near Sioux Falls. So we're going to continue to see this make its way eastward and areas still that have a chance at some of that strong to severe weather are going to be southeastern portions of the state and upwards towards northwestern Illinois, um, as has been kind of the target zone for this system. So we look out there tomorrow, mid to upper 50s. It's going to be nice, but it is going to be very breezy, relentless winds on tap for us tomorrow. Look at the warm air, though, cruising all the way up into Canada. So we are trying to start off spring here, and we're well, doing it in style with a little bit of storms. So look at the winds, though. These are sustained. These are not gusts. So yeah, you may want to put in some extra hairspray tomorrow. 52, 1 p.m. by 4 p.m. We are up to 56 winds out of the west northwest 22 miles per hour there. So this whole thing again shifts its way to the east. Still have some rain on the back side of this. Could see some mix and some snow for portions of Minnesota. So this is going to hang on at least to some cloud cover and a little bit of rain into Sunday evening. But by Monday, things take a qu much quieter turns. We start to clear out 41 degrees tonight. Still hanging on to some lingering showers. And again, a little bit above average that average at 34. And tomorrow we're back up to 58. Not exactly a warm 58, though, as we hang out with winds. Again, sustained 25 to 35. And we are talking gusts upwards of 40 to 45 miles an hour. So across the state, you can see that wind icon lighten up the state. Otherwise, should see a decent amount of sunshine. And you can see rain continuing because of that area, low pressure through north the through southwestern portions of Wisconsin and northeastern portions of Iowa. Um, otherwise, for most of us, we are looking uh, a little above average as far as uh, conditions go. And we head into the next week here and we continue with chances for rain. Temperatures again climbing back into the 60s for us into next week.